Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. This, I suppose, would be what we call round two, because I originally tried to review this item about a month, maybe a month and a half ago. And uh, Burger King, uh, I always like to say they're, they're happy accidents, right, as is usually the case there. I ordered the sandwich, I had everything set up to do the review, and instead I wound up getting some sort of burrito instead. So this time around, because I mentioned in that review, I will be trying out that sandwich again. The time has come. I was able to verify that this indeed is the item. So, the good news there. So now, hopefully, this will be the official assessment. Burger King, I guess it's not too new anymore, but it's, you know, still fairly new. Still being promoted. They have their Honey Mustard BK Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. It's available at the price of $8 for the sandwich, and here's what it has on it. A white meat chicken filet, honey mustard, Swiss cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and it's on a potato bun, and it's available at the price of $8. But I mean, of course, when you think about it, this is royalty uh, we're talking about right here. You know, just ask yourself this, right? This is how I justify the price when I, when I think about it. How many times on a day-to-day -day basis can you actually say to yourself, I'm eating something with... Well, I guess you could just ask yourself that. But you could also take it a step further and you could say, uh, how many times do I eat something that is called royal? right? This isn't just any sandwich. Uh, this isn't just a chicken sandwich. Well, it is a chicken sandwich, but it's also a royal chicken sandwich, and that's supposed to make you feel special and uh, feel a little better about paying the $8 for it. But, you know, they say, well, it's got the premium ingredients, it's got bacon, it's got chicken that might actually be edible, which is good. That's what we want. And that Swiss cheese. And all that good stuff. All right. I'm just thinking back to how perplexing that first review was. I opened it up and it was just this tortilla in there. Okay. Thankfully, chicken sandwich indeed. And there it is. Bacon. Chicken fillet, and that's the potato bun. That's that Swiss cheese right there. Oh, there's some of the, that's the honey mustard on the bottom bun. Wow, look at that. You can see that red. You might be wondering what on earth is that, right? What the heck is that red thing on it? And uh, that's an understandable reaction, that they call that tomato. There's green things. That's not moss. That's not moss up there. That's lettuce. That had it. <laughs> I almost dropped it. Boy, that wouldn't have been good. Okay. Has everything. So... You know what there is to it, I know what there is to it, we all know what there is to it, so I'm just going to try it out. Fairly uh, lackadaisical in this review, I suppose, but uh, happy to be finally trying this one out, so let's get to it. The Honey Mustard Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich from Burger King, it's going in.
Well, that was an odd first bite. Probably one of the most bizarre I've ever taken, but I'll show you what was wrong with it. You see that dark area right there on the front? It's overcooked. Thing's been sitting in the fryer for probably too long. At least in some areas, which is what, what made the uh, texture what it is. I'm going to be fair, though. I'm going to try a different angle of approach. See, that's a bit better. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard right now to be positive, and I'm finding it rather difficult, admittedly. Here's the thing. You know, this is kind of... It's not like how the last one was with the Taco Bell, where, uh, you know, it, the problem with that was that the portion size was all, all iffy. Let me just get the focus off here, so then that'll make it a little better. Problem here is the quality of the chicken. It doesn't taste bad. It actually is a, a decent chicken sandwich as far as the quality of everything is concerned. And this would be an outstanding item if the piece of chicken that I had wasn't some overcooked, rubbery, stringy... Uh, extremely difficult to eat. I guess, you know, excuse for a chicken fillet. This would have been great. And uh, instead, it's, it's overwhelmingly apparent that they left this thing in the fryer for probably not an extraordinarily long amount of time, but uh, definitely uh, a little too long. I noticed that immediately. And you could see that both with the, with the texture outside, what I could notice with the taste, and uh, it's just a, an issue. Now, mind you, yours probably won't be like this, but I review what I get, and this, unfortunately, is uh, what I got. just rips apart. Oh well. It's a shame. Not that I can say I'm necessarily all too surprised with this, because I'm really not. Uh, Burger King isn't necessarily known for their overwhelming, overwhelmingly good, I should say, quality or consistency, but uh, nonetheless, you know, I still hope for better. I still hope for better, and I don't know. And I was just going into this one real optimistic, I guess, and I was, uh, you know, because it's a premium sandwich, it's $8. 
and you know, then you you go in and this is what you get instead. It's always so frustrating when this happens, when I you know, I take a bite and what's what's wrong with it, right? All the ingredients are there. It actually looks decent as far as the initial appearance is concerned. You're certainly paying a premium for it. It's marketed as a premium sandwich. Can't even get the right item the first time. And then the second time, I finally get it. And uh, I take that bite. The chicken filet is overcooked to the point where the edges are literally burnt. And I don't even taste the chicken in some of those first bites. Rather, I just taste uh, that char and not in a good way. You know, there's the different types where it's like, you know, the char broiled or whatever, char grilled, etc. You know what I mean. And then where it's burnt. And I mean it in the burnt sense. And I just taste that. Now, some people will say that it might just be because the oil in the fryer is a bit dirty. I could believe that completely. But uh, you definitely taste that. And that is, again, extremely potent. And when you get that in one of the bites, it ruins everything. It just cancels everything out, and not in a good way. It negates all the good things about this. And uh, you're left with that. That's how it is around the edges. And then biting in otherwise, again, especially around the edges, it's rubbery. You try to take the bite, and it's not just my messed up teeth this time around, but it's just how this is. Thing literally rips into strips. Boy, that's just how I how I wanted to eat this chicken sandwich. That's really, that's what I was looking forward to. You know, why even take a normal bite? Let's just peel the thing off. Kind of like, a, like you're peeling a banana there. That's that's really what I was what I was looking forward to, and I'm sure uh, everyone else is too. Once you get toward the center, then it gets a little more bearable. Uh, it seems as though, you know, it, it seems as though it was starting to get overcooked to the point of it being burned, and then they pulled it out at the last second. But the damage was already inflicted again, especially on the outer edges of that chicken fillet. So once you start getting toward the interior and you are able to breach the the burnt shell, so to speak, then it starts getting enjoyable. Then it starts getting, okay, this is how I wish the whole sandwich was. Because provided the chicken fillet is actually cooked and prepared adequately, this is actually a good sandwich. It really is. And that's why I'm trying not to be overwhelmingly harsh, because I know that in your case, oh yeah, this is Burger King. Yours might be just as bad, if not worse than this, uh, but provided everything goes as planned, then it will be a good sandwich. Uh, that I can guarantee you. If the chicken is of good quality, if it's juicy and flavorful, and it tastes, again, as the interior of this, uh, did for me, then you're going to be in for a good premium sandwich, because I could say all the ingredients, they blend together perfectly. The chicken and bacon combination, can't go wrong with that. Uh, the bacon is flavorful, nice crisp to it. You could taste it pretty much in every bite, which is always a good thing. Lettuce and tomato are crisp and actually fresh. Happy with that as well. The, uh, Honey mustard is uh, another good addition to it, I would say. It's on the bottom bun in this case, but again, I actually wish that there was a little bit more of that honey mustard on this sandwich because it's just got the, the right blend of that sweetness and again, that sharpness to it as well. Uh, they, they did a good job. Their particular honey mustard blend is quite enjoyable. And uh, it works, again, perfectly in combination with the chicken. I, I wish, again, there was more of that honey mustard on it, because it makes for a most enjoyable sandwich. This would be a nice one, a nice sandwich, an awfully nice sandwich. But again, when I'm sitting here, and half the bites that I take, I can't enjoy. It's rubbery, 
have to rip the thing into these strips just to eat it. And you have to sit there and I have to think, okay, time to change the approach and the, the angle that I actually eat it at so it doesn't do that. Shouldn't, it shouldn't require that. Should never come to that. Should just be able to eat it normally and not have to worry about the thing being so rubbery that you have to pull the thing apart just to get an adequate bite or then have to chew and either uh, uncomfortably swallow or, or spit out the bites that are all burnt and charred just to get to the good stuff. A uh, absolute miserable failure of an item, what I received, that is. If you get this, preface, and it's cooked to perfection, and the chicken, you know, it's what I got with the change that the chicken fillet is how it is supposed to be. This is an easy 8.5 out of 10. Premium chicken sandwich, good quality, would taste good. Would it still be worth the $8? Yeah, I don't know. It's slightly overpriced, but you know what? It would be a darn good sandwich. Darn good. This, on the other hand, is garbage, complete garbage, as far as the quality of the chicken fillet is concerned. Took eight dollars, pretty much just burned it, and that's all there is to it. So, uh, very disappointing there. So sick of this, you know? Really, it's... Oh well, luck of the draw. I was just kinda... I was really looking forward to this one, you know? I was trying to have a good attitude toward it, and was looking forward to it, it was looking good, but, uh, no, oh well. What can you do? Let me see how much time I have left, okay. So, very disappointed. The quality, though, this is just what I got. If yours is better, I think you're gonna be in for a treat, but know that Burger King, being how they are, uh, if the chicken is iffy, this whole thing is gonna be totally ruined and you're wasting your money with it. So, Rating what I got, the chicken sandwich that I got here, I'm going to have to give this... I can't enjoy it. The main component is totally ruined. I can't enjoy it. So therefore, out of 10, I have to give this a 2 out of 10. Very disappointing, but this is merely 